Good morning, fam. It's your boy Matt, and we're back with another video. So, we still have some more to clean. Um, and we are going to use the sky lift. The only thing right now with the sky lift is that, is that you know, it's not like locking positions. So I can basically just turn it however way I want. I'm not afraid to be in the sky lift, but it's difficult to me to scrape and or like, like brush and push, you know, because it's only gonna push me away. So in here, this is basically the only mechanism it's like an electric motor that goes down to this one that uh, that holds it in place. I do not yet know how this works, but that's basically has to be that the issue cannot be anywhere else, you know. Um, and so I think I can see the problem. Um, you can see here, there's this pin here, and up here there's this hole, and this one looks like kind of like fallen down because it's like falling out so maybe i can like pry this one up yeah maybe something like that just make sure you know it's locked in um uh, and that's why the you know electrical uh, that's why the the motor isn't really turning that well we'll see i'm gonna take a look at it, this in a second but first i'm gonna have uh, a bit of breakfast I haven't been going to the swimming yet i think i'm gonna do it in the late evening it's very nice weather it's warm it's nice but there might be a lot of more people there and people shy on my free time all i do at work is talking to people and stuff like that but my free time i like to be alone or with close friends um so that's what that's what that's what we're going to do um you can kind of see like the the, the place where i did uh, stop washing and stuff like that but that's that, that's that's where we're gonna take take, take a look and if we if we can somehow you know manage to fix this one i'm gonna be super happy if not then we'll have to figure it out some other way um maybe someone down there can like push you know against the sky lift down there so whenever i have to push against the wall or something i don't you know go away it's kind of windy you will not really hear what i have to say um so they have breakfast and we're gonna do that and then as well we're gonna look at my friend's mother's car. It's a Volvo uh, S40. <sighs> Thing is, um, it needs the new brake uh, rotors and brake pads, and mate, might mate, mate, nice, might need new uh, uh, springs in the in in the front, which we'll see. Um, so we're gonna take that one up and jack it up, take off the the wheels. And we're gonna look if these springs looks like they have been broken or compressed or in super bad condition because whenever you're driving it kind of like leans towards one direction whenever you're braking which usually indicates that the the car is leaning towards some um, the car is bowing down to let's say the the left here my left um front springs broken and you and you're when when you're braking it's it's shorter so the car will go like this and it's automatically gonna want to go that way might be that and also like it's it's shaking so i don't even know if the brakes are super bad it might just be the springs because when the springs are not equal you know, the car can also vibrate but we'll see i'm going to change the brakes anyways because that car they're going to take, take down to spain later this year and they're going to be home in like two weeks or something like that so i gotta get it at least the brakes checked um today and rotors and uh, brake capacitors it's not a super big deal so but I'm gonna start with that also as soon as possible. So wash the house, get it done, and then the car. I might even start with the car because the car is like, yeah, you need to get it done. But anyways, breakfast, I'll talk to you soon. All right, so I decided to start with the car. This is an S40 Volvo 1.6 diesel. It's a pretty nice car, actually. It's really cheap on gas or, or, or diesel or, or fuel. Um, it's, you know, efficient fuel economy. It still runs okay on the highway. It's nothing if you want to do like hot, you know, hot takeovers and stuff like that. But um, we're gonna check on this car. Um, so basically, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do take this uh, extended, um, I don't know, extended pry bar, whatever you wanna call it. Put the 19 mil on it. Uh, loosen the bolts around. Then we're gonna uh, jack it up. Put it on the jack stand. Same thing, same thing for the next uh, side. Probably I'm gonna put the jack stand under somewhere under the control arm or something like that, um, where you connect the control arm. Usually those spots are pretty solid. Um, and so after that, it's just, um, you know, 
remove the wheels and take a look at the springs. So this is gonna be a longer video or something like that. I'm gonna try to see if I can edit it. But, you know, lately the videos have been so short, you haven't really seen what's been going on. But I have a lot to do today. So let's just put the car up on jack stands and yeah, I'll show you guys how I do it. tire you just take this one you kind of just pry this one off because it's laying like this like that it's just cut off you have two types of bolts or nuts this one is holding a caliper to the frame but you also need to change the rotor which means you also need to loosen the frame but you're still going to have to take off the caliper and all that stuff so you remove the caliper then you remove the frame after that, you're basically free to remove the brake, and yeah. As you can see here, this brake list looks okay here. And the outer layer looks okay. But look here, this is not good. So, so now I remove one brake disc, brake disc and with the pads. We do it other side, but I'm gonna do one side at a time. You know, finish one side, boom, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the other. So what I'm gonna do now is I have to go to the store and I have to purchase two brake discs and a setup of brake pads and also the uh, probably another thing i don't want to bend this one too much so i'm putting the brake the caliper like that so it's okay this one looks pretty good and we're gonna have to do some cleaning here um yeah all right so basically what happened is i went to the store and it's always windy guys so you cannot probably not hear me but i basically went to the store right where the supposed to break discs are this and it turns out that that type of the brake discs isn't sold anymore and was also out of stock so i have to order them online and it's gonna take a couple of more days and it it didn't really become any more expensive um because ordering online is also cheaper you know removes the storage cost in like the city blah 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 blah, blah. but it takes a little more time but i'm, I'm not in such a rush so I'm gonna order those now uh, when I get in, because it's Sunday today. So now we're gonna look at the sky lift, and this is basically what's up with it. So I can just take this one and turn it, right? And 
so that's not how it's supposed to be and i'm trying to think like what's going to happen and i realized that here is the electrical motor that's you know moving all these things and if you look carefully you can see here there's a hole and that's a pin so what i think i hopefully it will work is that maybe we're able to take this pin out see if this is maybe something that should be in here so um it doesn't seem like it wants to come out but what if i do this i try to push this one up and then maybe i can push this one in you know i'm gonna need both hands both hands for this the whole of the thingy here so like kind of like this and then you turn on trying to pull it out but it doesn't work um so if i'm if we're unlucky we're gonna have to undo these these and that bolt and get this one up and you know see what happens all right so i basically took off uh, these these three bolts and nuts i lifted this thing up and i was able to get this one off now this one is supposed to sit like this as you can see in here it's not feeling too good um I should be able to push this one out so i don't know what happened this one seems to be open at both sides so i guess there's a there's a hole um, through that one and so I should be able to push this one out so I need to find something else to have in here instead something that kind of locks out on one side and yeah something on the other but that's basically how it looks so I need to find something to go in between there and the sky lift should work again and we should can be a, get up and finally wash this as well and there goes the digger my grandfather is gonna take it away um to, uh, to the farm i just want to talk to you guys that i basically made a, 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 a small mistake i tried to you know i was gonna check for oil you know to make sure that it was all good for him when he was gonna come get it and I saw on the oil stick that, you know, there's too little oil in it. So I feel a little bit. I realized I did not put the oil stick down the proper way because it has some, yeah, it's a bit different. It's old and has like this cone shape that I didn't get all the way down. And it, it turns out that I put so too much oil. So I got that, you know, I, I, I thought, crap, fuck. Um, but what I did was I took this bottle thingy. Hey, dog. <laughs> I took this bottle thingy here, right here, put in the rubber tube here, put it down. I'll do, the bottle and just made sure there's a hole in there so it can breathe and i just hand pumped the oil out of there until it was good so that's good all right so it's evening now a lot of things happened uh you saw my grandfather draw away with the digger um i went after him with his car and then he drove me home we talked a little bit about forest and stuff like that plans um this is the part guys this is like um the hole here is supposed to go through it and then you have this part and it's supposed to be right there so tomorrow i gotta find something to be sitting there put the new locking thingy like a sprint or something like that in it and it should work again you don't have time to do this now but we have removed the brakes from both sides on the volvo so over the parts i'm gonna get them it's gonna be done like thursday boom done this one's hopefully gonna be operatable tomorrow so I can wash the last part you can start scraping which is good boom also good um and stuff like that also we're gonna start preparing uh, or preparing our saw house because we're still gonna start start sawing clients we have a couple of logs down there another couple of logs and we have to see which logs do we have time to you know do there's so many things to do also a full-time job and my own projects on the side but anyways guys that's it i found the problem I know what, what I have to do to fix it. I'm happy with that. There's no other major faults so with it. This one will be operable soon. Um, the house, the, the, this wall. Once this one gets painted, it's gonna feel so good, you know. 
this, you know, it's gonna shine off. I'm gonna do other side over there, which is like a front entrance. Also gonna lift up the house so much. I'm gonna do the back, uh, I'm gonna do the other long side. And you know, then basically all the, all the sides that you can see will be covered. And also we're gonna do the last one, of course, but, but we, we want to, you know, the, the, the things that can be seen because then we are also going to see that the most, you know. When we do that, you get the energy from the improvement and you know, you keep going. But anyways, it's like, I don't know, 8.30. Um, I'm going to that office tomorrow, which is just a little bit more far away. So I'm gonna go and pick up something that I can have, you know, as food tomorrow and uh, prepare it fast. And then basically, well, I think, I think tomorrow, it's gonna have like chicken or something. Like that. Well, I always have chicken anyways. But you know what? This will be it for today. A lot of things going on today, Sunday. Uploading and fixing the video um, right now. Trying to keep it up, you know. And you know, the thing is before when I used to do these videos, I used to be like, what do I do to gain the most followers? For right now, I just wanna show me, myself and whoever cares, this is how it's done. This is how you take care of a 10 hectare. One hectare is 100 by 100 meters farm, you know? That's a lot of work to be done. So this is how we do it. All right, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, peace.